Welcome to Miami. Bienvenidos a Miami. Oh, boy. We're here, we here as part of El Clásico Real Madrid and Barcelona to take on Saturday. It's not just a friendly. It's an event. So much is happening in this city. We'll get all to it. The spectacle of Miami in July comes with a lot of luggage. It's hot, but it's going to be all hot in the field as well. ESPN FC is going big. How about this set? <laughs> yes, I even sir. got to come back on for this. I don't know what's going on. Should I don't know either. Is this a mirage? You just show up for these special shows, Max. Uh, yeah, Dan Thomas says, I'm never going to hear the end of it. Me hey, you sh great to be with Shaka Hislop, Alejandro Moreno. I'm Max Bredos. This is really cool, guys, no? Nice. Or are you guys used to this? <laughs> no, no, we're not. Thanks for bringing us along, Max. I'll, I'll take it. Anyway, the driver will pick you guys up in 20 minutes. We will talk about uh, El Clasico <laughs> and all that comes with it. Lots of storylines. Certainly with Neymar at the top of that list. But let's begin with the Central Connecticut. Everyone has a snowblower. In Miami, in Miami, everyone has a boat. Oh, really? So it's, I think we're, we, we, we're, we're even on that one. Hey, look who showed up. Barcelona taking on Manchester United. President Barack Obama in the Barcelona group taking photo, looking great, enjoying the moment. Everyone wants a taste of uh, the ICC and these incredible games that we have on tap because you see all these great superstars. And Barcelona, Manchester United, they would have met. And this, this had some fireworks, certainly by Neymar, who has been one of the, if not the main talking point. Both he and Messi played. Well, it wasn't on the spot for Messi, Alado, but well, Neymar got to it. Antonio Valencia having difficulties dealing with the pass and then the finish by Neymar. Navi De Gea would make the big save to deny Luis Suarez. This game played up there at FedEx Field in Maryland. Nice some save by De Gea. Shall be down to his right. Not easy to predict, though it's well played. Mr. Valverde, they have it a moment. Jose Mourinho and much respect from Paul Pogba. And afterwards, they had a good laugh. I mean, the, the three biggest club names in the world, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester United. You got out there in uh, Maryland, you certainly got a good taste with some heavy hitters. Manchester United obviously have to raise their game to join those two as the biggest on the world stage. Neymar smiling. We'll see if that continues. He's here with Barcelona. We'll get to the discussion of him shortly. The bus is here, arriving. It's been a, a, a huge North American tour for all these clubs. Barcelona at the top of the list. And you see there the Holy Trinity ready to come here and put a show on. We'll see if all three of them are the there. Holy Trinity. Is, I think that's Sergio Busquets on the left. Is it Sergio Busquets? Yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm not sure that's Scratch old name on. Scratch old name off the bus. They already took a, they took a quarter and they <laughs> take it off. Like, like, <laughs> Barcelona's not only the only team here. We also have Gab Marcotti who joined us as well. And Gab, it all starts with uh, this Neymar discussion. I was excited to hear about it, but we keep hearing press conference this and reports here. But where do we stand right now with this? Well... <laughs> I mean, the big thing we don't know is what Neymar is thinking and what he wants to do, but we do know what what, what sort of the ingredients around him are saying. Um, there's reports in France, which I think is safe to say come directly from Paris Saint-Germain, that they've put together a very complex five-year deal for uh, uh, for Neymar, covering commercial, image rights, everything you'd expect, and took a lot of lawyers, and uh, but now it's almost ready. And uh, they're very confident. Uh, some people even suggesting that that might have been Neymar's last game in a Barcelona shirt. What you're getting from the Barcelona end is, well, we don't know anything about this. Uh, the buyout clause hasn't come in. Uh, Neymar hasn't taken a public stance, certainly not to, not even privately within his team, to his teammates. And uh, they're basically sitting and, and, and waiting. Uh, there were suggestions that uh, you know they were ready to sit down with his dad to see if you know could we work on his contract, which only signed last year. That seems to have stalled as well. Uh, they say it's a non-starter at this stage, so we wait. You said it might be his last game. What does your gut say uh, that the game against Manchester? What does your gut say? Because it, based on what we're reading, it seems we're this close. But what do you think? <laughs> I'm not sure it will be. Um, I certainly hope to see him here in Miami. Me too. For the <laughs> Saturday night. A lot of people uh, wish that. A lot of people, yeah. Um, the one thing to bear in mind is this is a buyout clause. So this is something where you basically forcibly come in. Technically, back in the day, it was a player buying his own freedom. Um, now, you know, technically it's the same thing, but uh, effectively it's, it's a club obviously playing the, paying the money. 
it's not in Paris Saint-Germain's interest and it's not in Barcelona's interest to do it that way. There's tax reasons, there's accounting reasons, there's financial fair play reasons. That makes me think that if he says, listen, I want to go, they're going to agree on a price and a formula to make that happen to minimize the impact on both clubs. Okay. Well, Gab, thanks for joining us, giving us all this. Real quick with you guys, you, does he, should he stay or go? What's your thoughts? Because I, I, I know people say he should sit there and stay behind Messi. There's other people say, hey, get your own, get your own team. I think he should stay. Okay. If you if you have an opportunity to play with Lionel Messi and that allows you time and space with less pressure than what Lionel Messi is going to carry out throughout the course of his career, you're going to score goals, live the life, and win trophies. What else do you want? I think he should stay, but I don't think he will. I think he should go. I really do. I don't have time to discuss it, but I have some I have some really good reasons for it. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Drive of the Deco, Ocean Drive is not just a street in Miami, it's also a name they use to describe the city. Taking your talents to Ocean Drive, South Beach, you name it. If you ever want to see what it used to look like, watch the movie Scarface, there's a scene, it's changed a whole lot. <laughs> what? This is true. What? There's a scene in Scarface around Ocean Drive, right. it, does, it looks like Good. desolate. This city's gone through a lot of changes. This is continuing from the International Champions Cup. This game taking place here in South Florida. Entertaining stuff, PSG, Juventus, and it is Gonzalo Higuain, Alejandro. Call him what you want. Maybe he's heavy half of the time, but he can score goals. Aided by Paolo Dybala, and then PSG in the second half. Shaka, tie it, Claudio Marquisio. Pardon me, Gonzalo Guedes. Here's Marquisio. Marquisio picks this ball up top of the box. Finds the roof for the net. But played a moist can. No stopping those. 76th minute, a chance here, and we uh, the goalkeepers. Maybe not heard of him, but he makes an impression. Carlos Pinsolio. Quality. <laughs> there it is. You've never heard of Pinsolio? Never heard of Pinsolio. <laughs> oh, I have now. Well, yes, you have. Make saves like that, we'll hear more of him. Okay. But that's what the uh, these games are for. Hey, Javier Pastore off the bench. He still got it, Ali. Hey, whatever He's happened still... to Pinsolio? By the way, I was at the game. I saw four Pastore shirts. So this is a guy who, uh, he's got a brand going. <laughs> four okay. shirts at a time? Four <laughs> shirts? I saw more shirts of him than I saw of... Oh, my God. Whoever. Whoever else. It was more shirts than anyone else. Okay. Is this a penalty? Yeah, yes, there it is. Kevin yeah. Kimpembe. Oh, Kimpembe? Yeah, it is. Have you heard it? Kimpembe, he's got a name to to make. Okay, hey, Marquise has scored a goal, by the way. Juventus won. <laughs> We're getting it. We're getting it. Look at that. Spectacular. Well done for the fans. 90,000 plus to take to see Real Madrid take on Manchester City. Hey, do we ring the alarm bells for Real Madrid? They got Kane here. Nicolas Otamendi makes it 1-0, 52nd minute. Seven minutes later, it's Raheem Sterling, Shaka. Raheem Sterling being played through. Acres of room, time to pick a spot, and he does so well. Did you just say ring him the ring alarm, alarm bells? bells. Yeah. In panic in preseason. Why is he done? I'm just kidding. That's a joke. John Stones! What? You got Otamendi? That's a problem. Like I said, should we ring the alarm bells? I, I don't know. You're ringing something. <laughs> uh, Brahim Diaz makes it four zip. Baile. Baile. Well, it's a good goal by him. I don't know how much of him we'll see throughout the course of the season, but good on him to score. Uh, Real Madrid do not leave empty handed. Long oh, range oh, here. Oscar. Oh, there you go. What a strike this is. We oh, want to be. Sits up nicely for him. I would. Oh. Indeed. We won't see him either, by the way. We will yeah, not see him. Hey, enjoy my last. Oh, yeah. A teaching moment. Oh, of course. We won. Of course. That's got to feel good for a former Barcelona coach. Even if it's a friendly, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, you're ringing an alarm bell, so yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, mind the mind. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go to Singapore. Have you been to Singapore? I have not. I have. I have, too. For like uh, 48 hours back in the day. But this is about Barcelona and Inter. <laughs> what were you doing? Uh, just traveling with the family. Oh, okay. Went to raffles. <laughs> went to the museum. Good. Hey, Dare. Hey, is this Inter team, with what they've done in the offseason, we know Milan's going bananas. Is Inter going to see some growth? Ivan Perisic finds Ader again. It'll be important Inter. delay. It'll be important for Inter to matter at, at some point. That's they good. haven't mattered in a long time. All right. The ICC will continue bearing a lot of fruit here. Uh, we will continue to see some great action. We'll be in Nashville, Man City, Tottenham, and then El Clasico right here, the final ICC match in Sunday at Foxborough. And now... <laughs>